We are very fortunate to have um, that the food service program continue this summer. It has, it is looking a little different in the fact that we are providing a longer period of time of um, food supplies for families. We were distributing some of the uh, locations that we were distributing from was the middle school, the Hussey School in Lebanon. Uh, we're the bulk of Berwick is being done through the Hussey School right now. Lebanon is still one of those areas as well that's doing some of the, the pickup nutri the pickup and the drop-offs as well as uh, we are doing some busing of that as well. And that's the million dollar question, isn't it? <laughs> uh, what we're doing in the fall. We are working really hard with, um, we have a committee that has been established, the task force committee, and I think we talked about that the last time that we sat down. Uh, the task force is really looking at what does school look like? What can we do, given the guidelines that we have from the CDC, from the state, and from the Department of Education? So we are still in process of collecting the information and developing the best plan, thinking about safety and thinking about our students and what that needs to look like. We expect to have additional information from uh, Governor Mills and from Commissioner um, Macon in the next couple of weeks and that will really guide what we're doing um, and help us to solidify our plans. But our, our thoughts are certainly towards what is the most safe for our students and our staff and um, how can we continue with, with the personal connections and building those relationships that are so important in our school setting. I can, I can say that as far as changes go, we really haven't had a lot of communication from our, our state level at, at this point of what those changes may look like. So I, I'm going to be vague in the fact that we don't know that yet. So that's the information I have at this time. We have a couple of meetings coming up in the next week or so, and I'm sure that we will get some additional pieces on that and how what was said um, at, at, the, at a bigger level it is going to impact us down here at our level. The school board has been meeting via Zoom since March and we have a meeting coming up on the 16th that we are going to try to do in person here at the high school. We are looking at the library or the auditorium and uh, so right now our plan is to do a, a live board meeting. Uh, this week we had a live administrative meeting which was the first time that we had done that since March as well and that went very well. So our hope is that we'll be able to be in person or a combination of in person and remote. Voting is happening on July 14th, which is next Tuesday. Our school budget is up at that time. You can pick up absentee ballots in the town offices and we encourage everybody to do so if they haven't already. I think information for residents that I'd like to just briefly touch upon is that we've been spending a lot of time looking at PPE equipment for our students and our staff and we um, are starting to collect those pieces in um, anticipation of what school could potentially look like in the fall.